hi guys hi guys how you doing welcome back to another video my name is Sina Kohana for those who do not know me so guys something just happened that really really shocked me first of all uh it's saturday it's 7 p.m i think and it's now that i'm noticing that uh either me or my partner did not remember to switch off the iron but if i remember well i haven't uh ironed anything um I think my partner was the last person to iron and then he probably forgot. So that iron has been like that for Friday morning, the whole day, Friday night, the whole night, today, Saturday, the whole day. Fortunately, it is the Philips, guys. The Philips iron that I keep seeing on TikTok that people are saying that he uh, it's more than an iron. It's a family member. That iron is so strong, guys, because... When we uh, got together with my partner, he had been having already that iron. And when now we started living together, he came with that iron. So that iron has been with us all this time. Like before me, the iron was there. After me, the iron is still uh, now with me. The iron is still with us. And there has been several occasions, guys, when we have forgotten to switch off the iron and it's still going strong. But I'm just so happy that nothing happened. It did not explode. But I, I, any, I've just been so surprised and shocked that it it's for all this time and no one noticed. Because we usually use this room to dress up and to iron and whatnot. It's our spare room. So, guys, but I'm so happy that it did not explode and nothing happened. I just switched it off and removed it from the plug. So, I'll just wait to see tomorrow morning because tomorrow is Sunday and we need to iron probably clothes for uh, for church. I'll see if it's still working, but I'm so happy that everything is okay. So, that iron is the real G. It's the real G. Anyway, guys, today I'm in this spare room of mine. I want to organize this place where I usually keep my perfumes, my lotions. And it's just, it's a place that is usually very, very cluttered. So without talking too much, let me just show you how uh, it looks currently. So this is how the place looks, guys. Uh, as you can see, um, everything is everywhere. The perfumes over there. Uh, the roll-ons, the moisturizers, uh, hair stuff, my jewelry, this box, my Bible, and then also this uh, countertop over here usually gets dirty because of the eye pencil whenever I'm sharpening it and these combs over here. So I just want to try like organize everything uh, from here, like have perfume separately, have uh, body oils and moisturizer separately and have hair stuff uh, separately just so that this place is organized also guys this thing nowadays i've realized that this holder only holds the only earrings that are here and rings are the ones that i use everything that is on this um like this uh container that i usually use to like store stuff i don't use often so i like also want to figure out what is in here and if i'm not using anything guys i'm going to have to throw some or to give some away if they're in good condition because those are earrings also i'm very allergic to certain earrings sometimes i wear them only once and never again so i want to see how we can organize this place but this is the way it looks uh that's a picture of me we were at a function a company function and we took those photos those are the headbands another one is hanging over here so this place i think it could be better so this is what i want to try and organize very fast if we have time i will organize my handbags and i'll also organize my shoes but let's begin with this please so i've removed everything that was on top of this place and now i'm just going to use your regular wipes to clean this countertop uh just so to make sure everything uh when i put everything back it's on a clean uh, surface, so that's what I want to do now. dirty guys because i recently uh, also did uh, another clean clean up of this place so i think today it's not as dirty as it was on that day so yeah guys that's why i'm just using a normal uh, more mini normal wipes otherwise i would have used like a scrubber and some soap 
just to get off all the dirt but yes guys So I'm going to use this. This is uh, water and uh, vinegar just to clean uh, these. I'm going to be using these uh, three like trays to help me organize uh, the things around uh, this place just to have them uh, organized. This is a solution that you can easily make at home. Just helps you to like clean uh, stuff guys. microfiber cloth guys just to wipe uh, this down So I'm going to use this black one to organize my perfumes. Then this white one is going to organize my lotions and my uh, moisturizers. Then this red one can uh, hold like the hair uh, products. So yes, guys. So I'm going to start by wiping down like the perfumes. Just to dust them off. This came like a heel but it broke so it just has to lie like that so that's how uh, everything looks pretty clean and uh, organized it looks much better than the way it was guys so i'm so happy about that so the second container is going to like house uh, all of my body lotions and creams so i'm just going to do the same process of wiping uh, wiping them down
love this glycerin. I really, really love this. Then this is the Vichy Serum. I haven't, I think I used it once or twice. I haven't like used it again. This is the spare uh, hand moisturizer or hand cream that my sister got me. Yeah. And this is my powder or like the mirror I use often. So this I will keep there. So that's how uh, the moisturizers all look from that point. I think that looks much better. Uh, yeah, and everything you can clearly see what everything is unlike what it was before so the third container will be or the third tray will be this one and this i will use to house all my hair uh, stuff so yes guys let's, let's quickly do that So for my hair, I don't have a lot of hair stuff. I only have uh, this Moringa Lemongrass Hydrating Freeze Spray. This I got from Saru Organics. It's been with me for such a long time, but it's a nice, nice uh, spray spray. And I really, really enjoy using it. It's almost even over. Yeah, so. The next one is this uh, dark and lovely waterless cleanser. I love this for braids or for lines or even for cornrows. Uh, when you have cornrows done and you want to put on your wig just to make your your hair smell fresh, I also use this. So this is the second thing that I have. The third one that has really stayed with me is this olive oil or rest wrap set mousse. This I also use sometimes when I want to like uh, do what. Sometimes I use it for my wigs when I want to have like uh, the, what are they called, these things, these rods that you use uh, to like curl your hair overnight and then in the morning you remove them. Let me see if I can find one and show you. When I'm, when I'm uh, using these, I don't know what these are called guys, I usually, I usually use this for my wigs. So whenever I'm using this, I always have these. Plus, uh, plus the or uh, the olive oil or RS uh, polisher, which really helps uh, to make make the curls stay. The next one is this. This is also very nice for braids, especially these bohemian uh, braids or these uh, kali kali uh, braids that we we love nowadays. This helps to keep the curls intact and in perfect condition. So this is also a Another one that I love. Then my hair food, TCB hair food, which has lanolin and vitamin E. Then this is what I recently got. It's the refreshing and quick drying perfect hairstyle anywhere. It's a hair wax stick. Very nice to keep like the flyaways from your uh, wigs or from your weaves or even your own hair from like uh flying away when it's windy so this is a new addition that i made the other day it just comes like this unfortunately i had to use like another brush to like uh use it because i thought it would come with something that you can roll up and like apply but it didn't so i don't know whether i'm the one who doesn't know how to use it or you're supposed to like push it i don't know guys but this is another hair product that i use then this one, this soft and free uh, styling gel, this has been with me for, I don't know, one year or two years, two years. But now I can see that it's almost over, so I will need to restock. So, yeah. So, I usually also had the, add this Beula, what, a nail polish uh, remover there. And this uh, colorless uh, top coat also over there. So, yeah. That's now how the hair stuff looks like uh, from this angle. So guys, I hope you can see the vision. At least it looks much better. It looks so organized other than what it was before, guys. Hey, this was looking very, very disorganized and bad. So the rest of the things that I want to add here, uh, let me just try and see. So hi guys, this is the container that I usually use to store like my eye pencils and whatnot. As you can clearly see down there, the Davis eye pencil will just cause that, guys. Let me try and clean it with a wipe and see if it will come off.
it's much better than it was before so i want to put like all uh the pencils and whatnot back there i don't have a lot of makeup guys because i'm not so much into makeup so i use very minimal stuff so yeah you see what I, I mean by the Davis eye pencil like when they get this short and like every time you keep sharpening them to use them they just cause a lot of wahala just look at that This just has my pens, my pens only. This has my combs and this has my makeup stuff. Yeah. These are our lint uh, rollers. So I will be removing this outer cover whenever I need to use it next. So yeah, these I will store at the back there. Then the next thing is this mirror that I recently got. So the next thing are my glasses, my sunglasses. I have quite a few. I think I could just get them like a nice place to store them. Instead of just having them out here like that. These are my favorite sunglasses, but the sun and the water in the Annie spoiled them as you can see. So some parts are rusted, but I really, really love these glasses. I never want to give up these sunglasses. So I don't know what I'll do to just keep them, guys, or to just wear them without a problem. I don't know what to do with these rusted places. So how I usually store them, just so they're not like, uh, I use these, like, I don't know, Uhuru bags. So I will store them inside. Maybe, uh, how many are they there? Like one, two, three, four, five. So I will store like the brown ones together. These ones I got from House of Leather a long time ago. I really love these glasses, only that sometimes they look so much, they look so big, and they look like you're a welder. This was my sister gifted me a long time ago. And these ones I got uh, from China Square. Yeah. So this is how I store them in these two bags and then I put them inside here.
this one just carries extra things like makeup or whatever that i haven't used or just some miscellaneous i put them uh, i think even this one should just go in here so i can push that to the far corner So these are the three things I was telling you that I need to figure out what is in here that I am no longer using. My mom gave me these earrings, but they seem to be really bugging my ears. Ugh, guys. You see this rust? This is what I'm talking about. This is what hurts my ears and I'm not willing to continue with that. Ah, psycho. You see? You see the rust? So, all these rusty things, I'm going to throw them away. Because they really do hurt my ear. And this one, these ones even I bought them and they were so nice. I got this from Dubois and then they just started discoloring. I'm not going to be using those any longer also they were rusting they started to rust i don't know why i've been holding on you see the rust i don't know i don't know these ones these ones are okay these are also gifted to me by my mom i've had them for so long so this can stay this can stay this one hasn't rusted so this can stay these ones, I love these earrings so much. But sometimes they can be so heavy and they can hurt your ear. But I think I'm going to keep them. These ones also are pretty, pretty heavy, guys. So I don't usually wear them often. But I think I'm going to keep those and throw these out. In the next uh, box, I just have my silver jewelry here. Then what else is here? is okay i don't think there's anything to throw out from here because it's just my necklace since i was basically looking for this bracelet so this is fine the third one i don't think there's anything to except for these lashes i can throw these lashes out these are also nice but you see how they rusted out, 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 out of my life. Where's the other one? I can seem to find it. So, yeah. I think we've sorted that. the ones i'll be throwing away because of the rust guys i don't know whether can they be cleaned though can they be cleaned you know because i really love these earrings and i've had them for such a long time let me try and see if these ones can be cleaned but these ones no these ones no 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 So guys, I've just given this a good wipe down and they are staying with us. The rest I've thrown away. I really love these earrings and I've never seen these uh, earrings at Dubois again. So I've just given them a good wipe down and I've, I can see that the green has quite disappeared. So these ones are staying guys. These ones are staying. <sighs> I need to throw this out as well. This ring. I did lose like the that was here this one is brass i think it just needs cleaning and it will be good as a new this is coins i need to put them in my coin box this ring i 
really love this ring but like the emerald uh, piece that was here came off i haven't found like glue to put it back this is my shutter i use it to for recording i don't know why this rings lately i've just like discovered as well this bracelet as well has also lost like its last I don't know whether I should get rid of it or keep it Lately, these are the only pieces I wear, guys. So I don't know what this this whole box over here is for. But it's, uh, probably those are for special occasions. But these are the pieces that I wear often. So this will stay here. So guys, these are the only two eyeshadow palettes that I own. And I've had them for such a long time. So yeah, that's those go there. Goes there. I think we are almost almost done. What's left is this um this box. I can see that this box I usually keep here like my pads, my liners. Yeah. It's all I keep in this box. So I need to restock on my Pads. So, yeah. I don't know whether I have to store these. So these are all the Davies eye pencils that cause a lot of marks, marks, marks. You can see, you can see guys. So I want to finish up with all these and throw them all out, guys. Hey, what's these things? Hey. <laughs> I'm now done. I've decided to put these eye pencils in these small containers so that I can, like these ones I just need to throw away. These ones I need to use them a bit and throw them all out. This is my beauty blender. I'll have to wash it. But this is how the perfumes now look. Uh, cleaned and organized. I think they look so much better. This is how all my moisturizers, lotions, deodorants look uh, after being organized. This is how all the hair products now also very visible so you just know hair hair is this side body is this side and perfumes is this side then this is where all my jewelry uh, goes i think this is well and neat organized as well then all the extra jewelry is in this box 
my sanitary pad situation my pens my combs and uh, the other extra makeup but that is how everything has turned out guys so hi guys uh we have come to the end of this video uh it has taken me i think 45 to 50 minutes to just be done with uh this section only so there's no way guys i'm going to be able to still do like the handbags and the shoes and still put it all in this one vlog so i think those will be in another video but thank you so much for coming this far if you have watched to this point and you enjoyed what you saw please consider subscribing like uh guys when you like a video it pushes the video to more uh viewers so please also make sure that you've liked the video if you have watched until this point so thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye